The parent company of PSO announces the completion of the state's largest wind farm. It's delivering more renewable energy to northeastern Oklahoma. News on 6's Emery Bryan has the story. These wind turbines are part of AEP's Traverse Wind Farm in western Oklahoma. The power company this week announced another 356 turbines are online, part of the power company's largest co-owned wind project. We are going to sequentially and consistently move to a clean energy economy by harnessing the power of wind and bringing that benefit to our customers. The new wind farm brings additional electric capacity into the AEP system. It's not enough yet for them to turn off their fossil fuel power plants like this one on the Arkansas River, but it is a major step in that direction. The utility only has one coal-fired plant left in Oklahoma, the power station at Ulaga, but it's planning to close it by 2026 as part of the plan to cut carbon emissions by 80% by 2030. Our, our customers have, have, have made it clear that they expect clean energy to be, in, to, uh, to be part of the mix for, for PSO. The newest part of the energy mix comes to Tulsa from the wind farms in Blaine and Custer counties west of Oklahoma City. The wind farms there generate enough power for 440,000 homes and are winterized to work even in icy conditions. The utility estimates if the new wind farm had been online last February, it could have saved $200 million in fuel cost. AEP still believes their investment in wind generates savings. It, and it's you know it's a big deal. This uh, will save over the course of the 30-year life of the wind farms. They will save our PSO customers a, a billion dollars. Customers can opt in to the utility's wind choice program for an extra fee to directly steer their dollars into wind power. In Tulsa, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma Zone News on Six.